Welcome to Brad Miller Time, week 21. Uh, this week is a short week. It's Tuesday night. It's about uh, 6.45 after practice today. Um, we head out to Alaska. I think we leave at 6.45 a.m. tomorrow morning. Um, so Wednesday is usually the day we film the show, but we can't do that this week. Uh, so we had to throw something together. Actually, Marty is behind the camera over there. Matt wasn't able to make it. He had a conflict. So uh, we apologize for any, any filming errors. Marty... Uh, doesn't know how to use anything but a cell phone camera, which wouldn't cut it. Um, today, we're just going to show you a little bit of the candidates. They're going to they're going to give you a couple messages on why they should be picked uh, for the next host and why the other guys shouldn't be. Uh, so hopefully, you enjoy that, and uh, let's hear what they have to say. My name is Mario Lamru. Many of you may know, I'm running for the host of Brad Miller Time. It's an excellent show. We love it, and. If you've been watching the standings, I've slowly been on the rise, taking over first place in the running over Brett Hextall. But do you really want Brett Hextall to be the host of your show, the California kid who spends most of his time at the beach? I don't think he's going to have a lot of time for the show once he's sitting at the beach all day, do you? I don't think so. Being from the hometown of Grand Forks myself, I'm for the people. And I am one of the people, and I'll host for you. I'm Mario Lamru, and I approve this message. Oh, hello. I'm Brett Hextall, and of course you know that I'm running to be the host of the next Brad Miller time. Now, one of my opponents, Mario Lamru, accused me of voting for myself three or four hundred times. Let me dispel those rumors right away. That is not true. Now, Mario, of course, is from Grand Forks, has lots of high school friends from middle school and from elementary school being here his whole life. So when you call all of your friends around town and pay them to sit at the computer and vote for you all day, of course you're going to be leading the voting. I'm not worried about it. I'm not here to call people that I know around town and ask them to sit at their computer all day and vote for me. I'm here for you, the dedicated viewer, that week in and week out, you watch the show and you go and vote. Now, Mario has never left the Great Plains. Of course, he's been in Grand Forks most of his life, and then he spent some time in Tri-Cities in the USHL. I, on the other hand, used to live in New Jersey, went to school in Boston, graduated from high school in New York, traveled to Penticton, British Columbia, Canada, and now I'm here in Grand Forks and living in California. I'm cultured. I'm worldly. I've been through a lot. I've seen a lot. Mario hasn't. I'm clearly the more experienced, more fitting person for the next job of hosting Brad Miller Time. Thank you for your time, and God bless. I'm Brett Hextall, and I approve this message. 1,001. 1,002, 1,003. Oh, hey, you caught me. Tuesday's arms and back. I'm Evan Trump, and I'm running for the Brad Miller campaign. And uh, let's go down the list and see the reasons why I should be the next Brad Miller time host. Reason number one. Does this look normal? You don't want this show. Brad Malone is a joke. Reason number two, Matt Fratton. Poor guy. I, I think I was probably one of four people to vote for him. Okay, guy's got, what, 3% of the votes? He's out of the picture. Now, to the freshies. They're too busy beaking each other all the time. I mean, Mario Lammer even got his haircut just because I did. Brad Hextall runs around bragging about being Ron Hextall's kid. I'm Evan Trump, and I approve this message. All right, so uh, there's a couple messages from the candidates. Uh, they all had good things to say. It's going to come down to the wire, I think, uh, except for Fratton. He's bringing up the rear. But uh, we, have, we have new developments. Uh, at last week you saw we gave the heavyweight belt to Hextall because he was leading the charge on the fan voting. Um, that's changed though. Mario Lamry, I think, has about 40% of the votes now. Um, so we have to go strip the belt from Hextall and present it to Mario this week. 
But he's been he's been gloating all week about this, and you know, it's, it's, I don't want to do it, but. Mar, come on in. What's going on here? The new heavyweight champ, Mario Lamoureux. Week two, week two poll That's win. That's right. I would just like to dedicate this to our, our fallen fellow, Derek LaPointe. I'm doing it for you. No, I already did that. I dedicated Not my de campaign, no, my I, win I called to it uh, first. Derek LaPointe. I no. called it first. Nope, I already called it. Too bad. Well, that's going to wrap up another week here at Brad Miller time. Uh, can I say something? We have one more. Uh, pointer, if you're watching this, um, I don't know what to do with the dishes. Uh, they're dirty. Um, so if you can get on top of that when uh, your leg heals up, that'd be great. Thanks. That's all we have here today at Brad Miller time. In all seriousness, Pointer, we miss you. Get well soon, and uh, hopefully you catch the episode and get a good laugh out of it.